Whoops. That's why we don't let you drive, my friend. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Wrestle Zone. And now, competing for the Wrestle Zone title, Da New Guy. And their opponents, you know they're evil because of their theme music, the forces of destruction. Um, would you mind giving his hand, my friend? I just need to stretch my legs first. I didn't know this was a table match. I'm done moving that, it's way too heavy. I can't get near it, everyone's in the way. I help to clean up. Chucks away. Looks like that grease is cooked. I'm so smart. Looks like you just had a nice tall glass of Be Quiet Soda. I'm sure they're fine. I'll avenge you, table. Oh no, I broke the table. Ladies and gents, we are witnessing the impossible. So Brain, how does it feel to have invalidated 100 years of wrestling? I just want to say, I couldn't have done it without my incredible muscles. I also want to thank my brain for being so smart. How the hell did you win that thing? What are you talking about? The belt won me. <laughs> and turn that off. Um, my friend, you have some visitors. Oh, guys, you didn't have to congratulate me all at once. Just line up and do it one at a time. Hand over the belt, Brain, or you ain't walking out of here alive. Hand it over? What, to everyone? <clears throat> Seeing as Brain thinks of himself as the belt's rightful owner, it stands to reason that, in his eyes, we're all equally unqualified. Hence, it should be his job to decide who gets it. I 
the guy's cold should have it. He's already held it for six months straight. It's someone else's turn. There's only one way to solve this problem. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. How about your thumb does battle with my chainsaw? You do know it's made of fiberglass, right? Why not draw straws? I didn't bring any crayons. Anyone up for rock, paper, scissors? Rock. Spoon! Ice, there's no spoon in rock, paper, scissors. There is in Texas! After him, boys! I'd have made the other wrestlers this angry since I'd had my contract extended. We know you're out there, bro. I gotta find another way down. Whoa, it's a cactus. Ow. Rose. I may be a good Samaritan, but I don't have time to do their groceries. Whoa, that looks just like ours. I'm not gonna let him know I'm here. Mr. Pencilwood is so fixed on the TV he hasn't noticed me sneak in. No, I don't like the frame. Oh, I think that's a Rembrandt. It's just a manatee show. I don't remember it, but I've probably seen it already. Turn it down in there, you deaf slob! I can't hear myself think. <laughs> now I could just use the window. It's just a manatee show. I've done that trick once already. I'm not gonna let him know I'm here. We're not even without the belt. I don't think I can just turn them off like that. What funny you climb out there? I gotta find another way down. <laughs> if only that would work. I can't do that while he's watching it. Ah. Ow! The view from our window is way better. I can't do that while he's watching it. I'm not gonna let him know I'm here. Did I tell you how easy I get vertigo? Sure is loud in there, darn neighbors. That won't work. No one tells me when to wake up, except when I ask him to. Come to Papa Pill. No one tells me when to wake up, except when I ask him to. My brainy sense isn't tingling on that. I've learned my lesson about talking to her, especially from here. I assume that's my autobiography she's reading. Who 
you think you people could do this tomorrow? Hey, if you're a loser, don't say anything. I'm not sure how soon he'll wake up. I only used half the bottle. I'll catch my cartoon reruns later. I can't watch TV. I gotta get out of here. It's turned off now. Now I can just use the window. So much for your passive aggression. He must be miles away by now. If I leave it alone, it'll leave me alone. I don't touch those things, not since the incident. It's got anti-brain paint on it. Simon tried to goad me into climbing that once but it clearly can't take my superior weight. Not gonna happen, Brain. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard that when you sit down, you'll actually be standing. Man, I won this thing fair and square. Okay, maybe I cheated a little. It's obvious that whoever abducted Brain was after his title belt. But that's what I don't understand, Detective. All the other wrestlers were upstairs. Why would anyone else be after the belt? You the copper? I'll be honest. This doesn't look very serious to me. Detective! I'll have a look around the wrestle zone, see if I can find anything out of the ordinary. But I'm willing to bet this is just the work of some prankster. Are you sure this is all over Brain's title? Is Brain himself worth anything? No. Could he be used as any kind of leverage? Not really. I see your point. Any advice for us? Wait by the phone. In case the kidnapper calls, right? Exactly. One of the other wrestlers, Ice Cold, was there when it happened. Yes, I've already spoken to him. He wasn't much help, I'm afraid. He didn't make much sense, no doubt from being hit on the head by the van. More like being hit on the head as a kid. I'm worried for Brain's safety. If all the kidnapper wanted was his belt, he has no reason to hurt Brain. So long as Brain doesn't aggravate his captor, he should be alright. Well, he's screwed. Is it possible this is the work of Smiley Joe? Smiley Joe? The infant criminal you three apprehended last year? It's not like there are any others. He's locked away in Cartelaz Penitentiary's isolation unit, and under constant surveillance. Is Cartelaz really that secure? It's the most fortified prison on the eastern seaboard. It's on its own island, accessible only by bridge, and uses laser security technology. Even so, Smiley is bloody crafty. Rest assured that if Smiley ever got out, you'd be the first to know. I suppose we should let you get on the case. Take my card. If you come across anything that might help, call me. Oh! The tub of hair gel is stuck to the desk.
Don't worry, Brain. We'll rescue you. Are you talking to yourself in there? This is going to be a long night, isn't it? I'm already well aware of the WrestleZone's code of conduct. I don't think playing with toys is going to help us right now. You're my biggest fan! That thing is usually Bright Brain's pillow. Some people just don't grow up, I guess. The chip in the corner is from when Brain tried to jump through it. It's Brain's copy of the official WrestleZone rules. It doesn't look very used. It's a greasy tub of high-strength hair gel. Brain gets through one of these a week. Inside is the signature stamp that Brain had made when his autobiography came out. It's the second of the two desk drawers. I'm not going to risk putting my hand in there more than once. It's empty. It's one of Brain's desk drawers. It's empty. I don't dare touch it. There's drool all over it. After what happened last time, I'm not doing his laundry ever again. That must be Sunday's pair. It's empty. It's Brain's rucksack. I'm quite sure that I don't want it. The wardrobe must be close to bursting. The sock looks like it's trying to escape. I might be trying to save him, but that still doesn't give me free reign to redecorate his room. Apparently, nearly half of all Brain's merchandise was actually bought by him. I'm not sure why Brain has this. He doesn't even play golf. I suppose I can justify borrowing this if I find a use for it. I get the feeling our detective isn't hugely concerned by all of this. I wonder if it's worth paying Ice Cold a visit. He was there at the scene. Going to come? And miss out on a free sofa for once? It's a photograph of us enjoying a drink with our boss, Mr. Sullivan. Well, Simon at least. I don't drink and Brain didn't have ID. It's a photograph of us enjoying a drink with our boss, Mr. Sullivan. Well, Simon. It's a photograph of us. Well, Simon. Relaxed enough? What's that supposed to mean? Our teammate's been kidnapped. Couldn't you help me hunt for clues? Hey, the detective asked for one of us to stay by the phone. I still can't figure out why anyone would kidnap Brain just to get his belt. Come on, you think everyone was going to put up with his clothing? No jealousy in there, of course. The detective doesn't seem all that bothered about this. The nobody's bothered about this. So what do you make of Brain's ordeal? It's gotta be over his belt. You really think so? Well, why else would anyone subject themselves to his company? I could give the detective a call, but I should do some more investigating first. I don't have any reason to go in there. Simon's room is also the home of his hamster, Mr. Fluffy. I thought I'd made it clear to Brain I didn't want his book here. That's why it's there. I like to keep my cookbooks close to hand. At least with Brain gone, the bathroom is free. I'm so tired I don't trust myself to go in for fear of going to sleep. It's my room.
I don't have time to help with the neighbour's chores. It's the door of our neighbour, Mrs O'Hare. Unfortunately, I can't save the day by fishing items from rubbish bins. Green once climbed in here for a dare. It was bad luck about that truck. I haven't checked the oil in a while. I'd better do so. Oh, it doesn't look like it needs changing. It's our cleverly titled DNG Mobile. I don't need to get to the roof, but if I did, I guess I know how to. It runs up the side of the building. Wet paint. Wet paint. Wet paint. It's got the detective's phone number on it. Brain had this made for the book signing of his autobiography. It's completely dry, no doubt from lack of use. It's an iron iron. It's Brain's autobiography, pocket edition. Ice cold can be a little difficult to deal with sometimes. He may be a good person, but he is rather two-dimensional. Jimmy! Get the door! Jimmy! Where is that kid? I'm coming! Yes? Sorry to trouble you, Ice, but I was hoping I could ask a couple of questions about what happened. Okay, but make it quick. I've got the oven on. Did you get a look at the van's license plate? Nah, I was too busy taking the season ticket that fell out of it. A wrestle's own season ticket? Where is it? Over on my coffee table. Ice, you do realize that's a vital clue, don't you? Oh no, you're not tricking me into giving it up. How are you feeling? I mean, you were run over by the kidnapper's van. It takes more than that to put a dent in me. Plus, my wife made me a hot chocolate. You've held the title belt longer than anyone. Is there any reason at all why someone would commit abduction for it? Well... You get to challenge anyone in the wrestle zone to a match of your choosing. But only once, and your opponent doesn't even have to accept. Like when Lady Killer turned down your mud wrestling match? Would you keep it down? The missus is still awake. What questions did the detective have for you? I don't know nothing about no detective. I went home as soon as I got to my feet. Oh, um, never mind then. Ice, all wrestlers get a season ticket anyway. I don't want it for myself. I'm gonna sell it and make a tidy sum. Ice, don't panic, but I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Oh, I'm not falling for that again. Simon tried that last year. I really need that ticket, Ice. And you ain't getting it. No, really, Ice, you need to attend to the oven. Yeah, right. As soon as my back is turned, you're going to take that ticket. Fine, I don't want the ticket. I'm leaving. Uh-uh. You're just trying to use reversible psychology on me. All right, then, Ice, don't look behind you. I know what your game is, so I think I will. Oh my gosh! There's a fire! That's what I've been trying. There's a fire! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What do I do? What do I do? I know! Stop, drop, and roll! The fire's spreading. I'm gonna have to do something, quickly. So, I have an empty bin. Now what? I filled the bin with water, taking care to avoid any fish. It's a good thing my suit is heat resistant.
Mister, why is my dad lying on the floor? Don't say nothing, and you can have the ticket. Ice hadn't noticed the ticket's been torn in two. I've got to take this to the wrestle zone. They'll know who bought it. I never did understand why this place is open 24 hours, although I'm glad about it tonight. I never did understand why this... I admit, it does look more impressive than the old one. I admit, it does... I'd rather promote our sport in the ring. A colourful reminder that all our athletic efforts are ultimately an aid of selling cheap clothing. I'm sure I can do without it. I can't believe this actually got published. The reviews are awful. My head's far better protected by what I'm wearing already. I can't believe they still got the colours wrong after everything we went through. I can't get it behind the glass. It's a Grease Lightning Ultimate Stealth Hand Buzzer. I don't think it's right we sell weapons as dangerous as this. It's a miniature version of Boomerang Jim's weapon. If I wear a watch, Brain won't go five minutes without asking me the time. It's an exclusive watch endorsed by none other than Time Eat Tim. I don't want to support Mayhem's entrepreneurial endeavours. It's an official Dave Mayhem steel arm plate. I've already got one. It's a perfect replica of Waiter's trademark tie. Detective! Oh, hello. You know, if you want to do the investigation yourself, you just have to tell me. No, of course not. I just thought I could help. Appreciated, son, but this is best left to the professionals. I found one half of a season ticket. I think it belonged to the kidnapper. Half a ticket, you say? Well, that's fantastic. Don't you want it as evidence? It proves the kidnapper was here tonight. I'd be surprised if he wasn't, but that by itself doesn't help very much, does it? I'm just trying to help, Detective. How's the investigation coming? Slowly. May I get back to it? I spoke to Ice Cold and he doesn't remember ever talking to you about what happened. Then he's completely mistaken. I did talk to him, and he is an imbecile. There's no need for names, Detective. Well, I'd better let you go then. Very well. Now if you'll excuse me. Is Wrestle Mad Monday better than Tuesday Night Terror? I can't comment on that. Hey, Mr. Defender! Wanna see some DNG fan art I drew? Uh, sure. Say, that's actually pretty good. Um, Horace, could you sign it for me? Uh, could you get Simon and Brain to sign it as well? Well, I'll see what I can do. Yeah! Don't try to forge anything, though. I know your signature's like the back of my hand. Now that's something I really didn't want to know. You know, I'm getting the strangest feeling we've met before. My forum trolls and I stormed the arena last month. That's right. Simon didn't take too kindly, if I remember. He beat the snot out of us, if you remember correctly. So, what did you think of Brain's win this evening? It just backs up my theory that the matches are faked. I really would be more discreet if I were you. You've been standing here a while, right? Have you seen anything fishy tonight? Only the strangest thing I've seen all week. Really? What? You and Simon getting your butts kicked by Brain. I'm going to be living with that for some time, aren't I? Here's your picture. Um, but Simon and Brain haven't signed it. Would you like a copy of Brain's autobiography? Already read it. What did you think of it? I'm still paying the psychiatric bills. 
So, what are you doing here? Eh, I just hang around sometimes trying to get autographs. Oh, do you have much luck? Enough to make a living out of selling them on eBid. I've got to go. Excuse me, miss. Where's Eddie? I thought he covered the night shift. His day off, thankfully. Pardon my asking, but are you new here? I don't think we've met. I'm Clarice. Your defender, right? Well, it's it's the defender, actually. You'd be surprised how often people get that wrong. Right. I was wondering, have you seen any suspicious characters around this evening? Suspicious characters? This is the Wrestle Zone. It's a haven for dodgy types. And I'm not just talking about the wrestlers. Hey! This ticket... Yeah? Could you look up customer records to tell me who bought it? Impossible. It's been ripped. Besides, I couldn't with that guy watching. I could get into trouble. Could I buy one of those hand buzzers? Are you serious? I heard they're all the rage. Sorry to disappoint, but we sold the last of them this evening. What about the one in the display case? Can I buy that one? Um... Well, if you can get it out of there without breaking anything, I guess so. So, how do you like working here? Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Except the obsessive fans won't leave me in peace. It's my right to stand here. I'm the WrestleZone's forum moderator. I'll be back later. I shouldn't take it. Bob the Cleaner needs it. It's the cleaner's bucket of suds. Fortunately, I'm out of change. It offers all the excess sugar a sportsman could want, but shouldn't have. Evening, Bob. Hello. It's Bob, the cleaner. It's not mine. I don't think I've met Rick yet. It's none of my business. It's not mine to open. I don't touch his things. They're to protect the wrists when fighting. I wouldn't dream of opening someone else's locker. It's Brain's locker. I've already showered tonight. It's a row of showers. I haven't lost anything down there. It's to drain any runoff from the showers. It's not much of a gym, but the punch bag is good for a workout. That's not going to help. I can't leave with my locker open. It doesn't open from this side. The crank is too stiff, I can't even budge it. You'd think this place would be in better shape. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. It's locked. I probably could have guessed that. 
The weapons are mainly just for show, but they're still kept under lock and key. Perhaps if I could get up to the lighting area, I could find a way to see better.